Let's work on finding the antiderivative of this definite integral. So most of this is just going to be using the power rule, doing our integration that way. In all honesty, it's filling in those bounds of integration at the end that gets a little bit dicey because we have to deal with fractions. But overall, it shouldn't be too bad. So what I'm going to do to take this antiderivative is go ahead and bring along the 4, bring along the x, but we have to use the power rule, so we're going to increase the exponent that was a 2 by 1. So our new exponent is going to be a 3 here. Now we also want to divide by that new exponent. Moving on to that next term, we'll bring along the 5. We're going to have an x to go along with that. We take our old exponent, the 5, we're going to add 1 to that, so our new exponent becomes 6. We have to divide by that new exponent, so we have 5 over 6 in this case. Now typically how we write these is we go ahead and we have all of this, and then we bring along our bounds of integration. So this is going between negative 3 and positive 4 still. All right, from here, what we need to do is first plug in the upper bound of integration in for each of our x's. So that's going to look like 4 thirds. And we plug in the 4, the upper bound, cubed, plus 5 sixths. Plug in the upper bound, raise to the 6th power. And then from there, fundamental theorem of calculus says we also subtract and then replace each of the x's with our lower bound. So that's going to be 4 thirds, replace the x with negative 3 to the third power, plus 5 sixths, replace the x with negative 3 to the sixth power. All right, from here, that's the hard part. <laughs> We've done the integration. From here, it's just a bunch of simplifying down to finish this up. So to simplify, what I'm going to do is go ahead and figure out 4 thirds, and then 4 cubed, right, order of operations say work the exponent first, is going to be 64. Plus 5 6, and I did not do this in my head. Um, got the calculator out to help me. 4 to the 6th power is 4096. Minus, and I am keeping the set of brackets on this one, because we have that subtraction out in front. So it's going to be 4 thirds, and then negative 3 cubed is going to be three copies of a negative makes negative 27 plus 5 6 and again pulled out the calculator negative 3 to the 6th power is going to be positive because it's an even number of negatives 729 hopefully you're with me on all of these steps from here what we want to do is continue simplifying down next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to think of this as 64 over 1 because we had a fraction times that 64. We're going to multiply numerators together. So 4 times 64 is 256 over 3 times 1 is 3. Plus, again, think of this as over 1, so you multiply 5 times 4,096. We have 20,480 over 6 times 1 makes 6. All right, from here, I'm going to also go ahead and think about distributing this negative to each one of these terms. All right, so overall, we're going to get a plus for that first term, all right, because 40, 4 thirds times negative 27 is a negative number here, times this negative makes positive. Think of this as over 1, 4 times negative 27, or 4 times 27, maybe I should say, is 108 over 3 times 1 makes 3 minus 5 times 729 is 3645 over 6 times 1 is 6 in our denominator. Okay, from here we could do some simplifying down along the way first, but my idea is looking at those fractions, we've got 6 and 3 as our denominators. Let's go ahead and do the work to get a common denominator. So in this case, let's aim for 6 as our common denominator, and I think life's going to be the easiest it can be if we go that direction. So I'm going to multiply this first fraction by 2 over 2 in the hopes of getting a 6 there, and then this other fraction over here by 2 over 2 again. I write the goal being get 6 as your common denominator across the board. So from here we have 2 times 256 is 512 over 2 times 3 is 6 plus 20,480 over 6, plus 108 times 2 is 216, over 3 times 2 is 6, 
minus 3,645 over 6. All right, as we combine all these numerators together and keep the common denominator, this is going to be exactly 17,563 over 6, or an approximation, remember it is an approximation, is 2,927, uh, what is it, point, I'm going to get this wrong, point six, six seven. All right, um, or maybe it's 0.1667. Double check me on that. It's get the calculator out. You're probably not doing that in your head anyway. All right, hope this helps out. Um, good luck as you're working on antiderivatives with definite integrals.